everyone, welcome back to Trees and Turtles, my name is Imogen. In this video, we're going to be romanticising my life. And yours too, hopefully. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do that, follow me on Instagram, and let's get into the video. First I want to talk about what romanticising your life is. Basically it's about seeing the beauty in small things and putting in a little bit more effort than you usually would just to make things aesthetic. And yeah, genu generally just enjoying the smaller things in life and feeling grateful for them. I think a lot about romanticising your life is reframing it and having sort of more gratitude for stuff in your life. So we are going to be exploring this through clothes, we're going to be exploring this through small adventures, we're going to be exploring it through music, and we are just going to be doing stuff for our mental health. And yeah, hopefully that will be something of a glow up. So let's get started. Okay, so step one is to pick out an outfit. I've chosen this leather jacket. I've got this um, green kind of butterfly top thing going on underneath, which I really like the style. And I've also got these um, light cream coloured trousers. So yeah, I felt these, the top and the trousers went together. I'm not sure if the jacket goes, but I kind of like the jacket anyway. So yes, that is, that is step one. I think the key to this is to pick things that you feel good in, you feel confident in, and yeah, just express your style, and so my style is very much sort of, well, part of it's like pastel colours, and part of it's just like cute crop top agenda kind of vibes. So yeah, just, just pick stuff that you feel comfortable in, and style it. Okay, so step two is we are getting a playlist, and here I have the playlist for Romanticising Your Life, and these songs all have a certain aesthetic, as it says at the top, so... We have 1975, Simon Garfunkel, Oh Wonder. Um, the Emma Stone song is from La La Land, which is a movie I absolutely love. If you don't know Lizzie McAlpine, she's a fantastic artist. I massively recommend her. There's More Oh Wonder. There is some Billie Eilish. There's the 1975, that's their new album, again. And then two more from Oh Wonder at the bottom. So all the orange ones are from Oh Wonder's latest album. So, yeah, these songs just all have a certain aesthetic and... I just, I just feel they're really good. They sort of, they make me feel like the main character, if that makes sense. I know that's a big cliche, but they make me feel like the main character. Anyway, I'm going to put the link for that in the description. Okay, so you know what I think is magical? I think it's actually discovering new things in your local area. Like, you don't even have to go too far to have an adventure. And I think this is the concept of small adventures, is that you just get out of your comfort zone a little bit, or just try something that you've always wanted to try, but you've, like, always walked past it and been like, I must try it sometime, never done it. So that is what we're going to do now. So on my way to uni every day, uh, I pass by this really cool shop and um, this shop is just full of like stuff that looks really interesting and it's all um, like the windows are always really lit up and it seems super welcoming. Also, as a massive bonus, it serves bubble tea. Um, and this is something else you may not know about me, but I am obsessed with bubble tea. There's a um, bubble tea place in my hometown that I've been going to since I was like 13. I have a loyalty card for it. Anyway, that's a whole other side to my personality. But this place I'm going to serves bubble tea and also I'm going to browse. So I'm really excited for this small adventure. And I very much advise that you do small adventures as well because it just adds a lot more sort of magic to everyday life and gives you something to look forward to. Like this is a random Sunday evening. It's cold, it's the middle of November but I actually feel really excited and energised because I'm going on this adventure and I'm doing something that I've not done before. So yeah, also sorry about the light across my face, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, oh there we go, nope, okay. Anyway, so I'm going on this little adventure and I will show you when I get there. We're here, so let's go in. found my favourite thing ever. This is mochi. This is a kind of, um, I, when I was a kid I used to love going to sushi restaurants they always serve these and there's like loads of varieties. That's peanut, uh, that's taro, that's milk, there's green tea and what's over here? Brown sugar and sesame. So I am, oh this is strawberry ones and what's this? I, I, oh, lychee, I think. I, I've got, absolutely got to get some of these, but I actually can't decide, so I might get more than one. I got this, uh, which is like, it's a mango bubble tea, so I'm very excited to try that. And I did manage to decide on these green tea mochi. Oh, uh, that is a car. Um, yeah, so the place I went was called Golden Pearl Durham. And um, yeah, it's just 
a really cool welcoming shop. Everybody was so nice. And uh, yeah, I will definitely like to go back. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my bubble tea and my playlist while I walk back home. I think walking is a really good time to think about things that you are romanticising your life with. And just to notice little things, like on this walk I notice the breeze, the noise from the cars, just be really present in my senses and be mindful of my surroundings. So yeah, walking is good for that. Hello, right, I'm back. Um, I was going to show you this in proper light. So this is, I got mango, I'm going to take this off actually. They gave me like a little carry case for it. Anyway, I got like mango milk tea with these like green jelly stars at the bottom, which I think look very cool. Um, can I just say I've had good bubble tea, I've had bad bubble tea, this is outstanding, so yeah, please if you're in Durham ever, go to the same place, and if you like bubble tea, because I can 100% recommend it. Um, also I got, oh, I'm going to take this jacket off, um, see my outfit a little bit better, uh, I also got these, these guys, uh, so I'm just going to open this up and try one, because I honestly love, I honestly love these, and I'm excited to see what they're like, so... Yeah, so we've done we've done the outfit, we have done the small adventure, we've done the playlist. Uh, I've explained what romanticizing your life is about, and now, oh, look at these, they're very cute. Um, now we're going to think a little bit more about mental health. So one of the main reasons that romanticizing your life has become popular, I think is to do with mental health and it's because like I said at the beginning seeing the gratitude seeing the gratitude seeing the beauty in small things and having gratitude for that can actually really boost your mental health and as somebody who struggles a lot with their mental health I think this is really beneficial so even this setup here this is this this was an attempt at romanticizing my life so you can see I've got the fairy lights I've got like postcards I got these on holiday by the way uh, this is this is this is once again me mentioning my favorite band um, so yeah, the mental health aspect of romanticizing your life. So there's a bunch of things I do with this. So I obviously I listen to music. It is an escape for me, and I journal a lot. So those two things. Uh, also, I do this. Like this is a creative endeavor. So I think I challenge you to get a piece of paper and a pen, if that's how you do it, or open the notes app on your phone, and write down ten things. The first ten things that come into your mind that they don't even have to be big things like you know I went on an adventure which took me like 20 minutes and it was an adventure and I really enjoyed it so one of the point I'm trying to make here is that you don't have to do anything massive or extravagant in order for you to romanticize your life you don't even have to spend any money like you can make a Spotify playlist and put on your favorite outfit and call it a day like that counts um, I mean I know I went out and I I bought food and I got bubble tea but you don't have to do that and I think once you realise that you don't actually have to do huge things and you don't actually have to do complicated things, then your life will become much more romanticised. So, yeah, I challenge you, write down ten things. Oh, also, while we're here, I have a book recommendation for you. So, my favourite author is Matt Haig, and I don't know if you've heard of Matt Haig at all, but he wrote a book called The Midnight Library, which is probably his most famous book, which is about somebody who... Um, get stuck on the verge between life and death and then figures out like what life is all about and becomes sort of like in love with life again. Anyway, so before he wrote, re um, before he wrote uh, The Midnight Library, he wrote a book called Reasons to Stay Alive. And in this book, he talked about his experience with depression and um, how he, he had very severe depression, nearly died in his mid twenties. Uh, and in this book there is a list of little things that he terms reasons to stay alive and they're things like sunlight, stargazing, walking the dogs and yeah so I, I, I'm challenging you to write a list of ten things which are like little reasons to stay alive, little reasons to be grateful. I think this dovetails very nicely with the concept of romanticizing your life because it's all about um, finding joy in things again. Uh, so yeah I challenge you to make that list and in the meantime I am going to do some journaling. Okay, so I've just been journaling and 
I set it as a challenge for you to write down ten things that um, are like reasons to stay alive and I thought it would be unfair of me to ask you to do that without doing it myself so I have written down ten things that are my reasons to stay alive and they're also good things for like romanticizing your life so I'm gonna I'm gonna read them out number one on the list bubble tea feeling very grateful for that right now um, I still haven't finished this because I want to display it as much as possible um, otherwise I would 100% have finished it by now because it's delicious but it's gorgeous I mean look at this look at this look at the contrast anyway uh, number two oh wonder my favorite band will always make it onto this list um, yeah for those of you who don't know, I've seen them three times this year, and I spend a lot of money on it, and I do not regret a thing, because it's amazing. Anyway, um, the third one is, is that feeling of being warm and happy after a long shower. I had a long shower last night, and it was really good. Um, hanging out with my friends. I love you. Um, creativity, so Instagram, YouTube, and journaling. All, all three of, if you haven't already followed my Instagram, it's in the description. What are you doing? Anyway, um... Adventures, seeing or experiencing new things, like I did today, and it made me very happy. Um, getting stronger and improving at exercise. I have one of my friends as an exercise buddy, and we keep each other accountable. And yeah, I've been getting better, I've been getting stronger, so quite proud of that. Um, more travel. Next summer I am going to Italy, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, more independence. I think something about your early 20s is that you gain a lot more independence and often you feel like you've really earned it because it's a lot of new experiences and you're trying new things and you're finding them hard and yeah it just it just feels it feels earned and I think that's a good feeling um, and the final one is all the plans I have so I have five year plans I have career plans I have ambitions etc I have like personal plans like I want to live in California I want to run a business I want to work in rainforest conservation all of those things are really exciting and I just hope I get to be able to do them so those are my ten things um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the journaling. Um, so what I'm going to do next is, because romanticising your life can be anything, and also, on the point of creative endeavours, I like doing my nails. Like, um, this, th I'm not going to show you this up close because this is chipped and you don't want to see that. I'll show you, I'll show you it after I finish painting them because that's the next thing I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, since I started, I started painting my nails um, I don't remember, but I've, um, anyway, since I started painting my nails, I have never had, um, nails unpainted for more than a few days. And I just like really changing up the colours and experimenting with different pattern styles. Uh, di different colour patterns have different meanings for me. Like I always, whenever I go to see, uh, whenever I go to a No Wonder gig, I'll always paint my nails the colour of the relevant album. Uh, so that's a nice tradition I have. Anyway, so for my birthday my sister got me three lovely colours of nail varnish and this red one I've been trying out and there's a sort of purple sparkly one and there's like a silver sparkly one so I'm going to see one of the sparkly ones, I'm going to try them out and when I'm done I will show you. Okay, so my nails are dry. Uh, I discovered something this evening, which is that the removal process for red nail polish looks remarkably like a crime scene. So, I think maybe I'm just dumb or doing it wrong or something. Anyway, can you guys let me know in the comments if it's normal for your hands to look like you just slaughtered a chicken or something? Because, um, yeah, mine did. And anyway, that's the reason my fingers are slightly red. Um, anyway, I have put on some nail polish. This is like, um, it is shiny, metallic. I don't know, it's supposed to be like sort of pinky, pinky purple? Anyway, again, ignore the red fingers. Um, anyway, this is, this is, I really, really like this look. And, yeah, it just really makes me happy. So, find things that make you happy. I think that's the whole message of this video. That's what romanticising your life is about, is finding things that make you happy. They can be big things, small things, just see the beauty in the everyday. And, yes, I have finished my entire bubble tea. And also eaten the snack that I bought, so... No regrets there. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy, sorry. Um, anyway, in either case, make sure to follow my Instagram because you'll get plenty more of me annoying you on camera. And I will see you very soon. All right. Love you all. Bye.